I want to talk a little bit about um, the feeding of these uh, Middle Eastern parasites and how they operate. Uh, so if you listen to all the videos um, of how they talk about these parasites, they have to feed these parasites. I kid you not. And uh, the feeding often actually, um, they say they have to feed these parasites on actually on basically basically on the head. Basically, the basic what they say the parasite has to feed basically off the crown of the of the person. So I don't know. So many people have their crown infected and it's it's swollen, and um, uh, that's how they feed. Um, and uh, when you listen to uh, these um, these awliya, what they they say, these awliyas are these. Uh, Somalian sheikhs who actually apparently are now saints. Remember, they tell you the the the, the Middle Eastern actually uh, basically uh, uh, priest that came in from the Middle East to spread Islam were saints, and so these uh, these saints were actually flying. I kid you not. They would tell you that these saints would basically change into some kind of uh, basically a smoke, and they would fly. Some say they were flying with uh, you know the magic carpet of the Middle East. I kid you know that's what they say and so they were basically uh, creating these uh, they would settle they basically marry in the the locals create these hybrids and then these hybrids would then spread the uh, Islam I kid you know that's what that's what it says some say they would create basically disciples and uh, or what they call Hafta Sheikha and then these disciples would then go and then spread these Middle Eastern parasites along with uh, with Islam and then they would tell people once the people got infected they would tell people hey if you want to remove these, these parasites you have to basically pay a tribute you have to pay the dues and so many of the people who actually who are still doing these actually uh these uh, uh basically uh ceremonies for these parasites say that these parasites eat off the head of the people i kid you not that's what they say and these, um, I talked about the video where uh, of these sheikhs who actually change into some kind of a black cat to actually, uh, you know, to, to actually, uh, and they roam in the entire, basically, um, territory. One of the, so the you remember, they, they were saying the, the armed forces are also part of these, basically, groups, what they call some kind of a Sufi cult, where these uh, they, they spread these Middle Eastern parasites. And so they were saying that most of the studies actually they actually uh, do actually uh, how they learn to actually uh, shape shift into these Middle Eastern parasites. Uh, basically, they go to actually get that knowledge from uh, Harar. I kid you not. That's what they say. They go to Harar, where they actually learn how to actually uh, become a, a, a big awliya or specialize in in a different type of witchcraft. And so um, when they actually uh, in, 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 in that area in Harar, they have these uh, tradition where they feed these uh, these hyenas off the head of the people. Yeah, they feed them in different ways. But one of the most basically uh, basically a place that they feed off these people is off the head of the people. And so the narrative is that these parasites actually descend from so somewhere and they feed off the head of the people. And when they do actually their witchcraft, they actually put something on top of the head of the people to actually, for these parasites, I kid you not. I don't know what kind of parasites actually they are, but some say that these parasites look some kind of a, basically a wounded type of parasites. It's probably some kind of a va vampiric, Middle Eastern uh, vampiric, uh, basically type of actually genes. And they need their actually blood. They say uh, some say they actually so they, they fly off the fucking sea, and basically they they basically come and land when they actually it's time to feed. And, and so they actually feed these things blood as well. But you actually you don't see the blood or the, how they feeding them because these most of the ceremonies are actually behind closed doors. And so I'm gonna post a guy who says in here they're spreading these type of parasites in actually Minnesota. He said actually when he tried to report, I mean, uh, this actually video is like he's like I posted like four years ago. I think he's been tracking them for, I think seven years or probably before that. Uh, many of these people are basically. Uh, it, I think the majority of the people are actually the yeah the majority of the people are of the Dadal clan and I think it's uh, the uh, the sub clans or Ogaden and Majasten. 
and these are the two biggest clans that practice these actually uh, Middle Eastern witchcraft. I kid you not. And so they say these middle these Middle Eastern parasites came from Bari, Bari, which is probably the Punlan area, the, dominated by the Mujarten. And this is where they landed. This is where they married into the locals, and then they spread these combions, these hybrids, who actually were then carrying these uh, basically serpent seed and then spreading them in, in, in the locals uh, further in the in the west. So uh, now they're spreading them in the in, in the U.S. I kid you not. And so they, 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 this guy is, is saying that they actually are, it's a deeply, deeply, basically um, uh, entrenched witchcraft. And so they're spreading this thing in, in the U.S. And he says um, they actually also, he, he said he investigated, he saw basic people possessed in their ceremonies. And he said um, he was told to actually be careful, actually, uh, to not report about their ceremonies. He said they told him... Uh, they can actually send these parasites uh, to him uh, to actually um, kill him right there on the spot. They told him actually, um, you know, we can send these parasites. They will come into your place and they will basically kill you in your sleep or when you're not expecting. Uh, but he says actually he's, pro he's protected by Allah. And that's what he says. But uh, what he's not telling you, he's actually part of also a cult, what they call the Hatha Sheikh. Hath al Sheikha were also basically a Sufi cult. They are actually a Sufi cult who also practice this type, this type of witchcraft. And so, uh, what you have is that these parasites actually come from the Middle East, and then basically the first people who actually uh, spread these parasites were the Sufis. And then the Sufis basically, once they spread these parasites and/or they created hybrids with the locals, the locals then picked up the basically uh, these parasites and then spread them even further actually inland and so you have now two groups of people fighting over actually these uh the, the these parasites i kid you not you get these uh the sheikhs and then you got these uh basically the other but they're also muslim but it's just it's two groups actually fighting over the possessed people actually and so once the feeding comes in and then the, these people these parasites need to feed they feed on people and then you then you need uh a hybrid or some kind of a, of a person who possesses these Middle Eastern parasites, uh, a bl bloodline, to actually uh, uh, mediate and then tell these parasites to actually you know stop feeding, because you know uh, otherwise you will kill people like the the woman was singing because I posted a video of a woman singing, uh, begging these parasites to actually not feed uh, deep, uh, otherwise they will kill the people, something like that. And so you have these, I kid you not, once you, because, you know, what they were saying initially that they actually were blaming the Bantu and then the uh, Oromo. They were saying it was uh, the Bantu and then the Oromo actually who were spreading these parasites, but uh, that's a lie. I mean, the, the, these people lie. Uh, so this guy said he actually investigated, uh, he's been investigating the, the you know, the um, the opposition spreading these parasites in, in Minnesota, and he says... Uh, yeah, yeah, they they, they basically uh, basically spreading these parasites, uh, charging people five thousand dollars to actually remove the parasites and so on. But um, there's no actually uh, there's another woman who also said she investigated and uh, she talked to and the Aram to the Oromo and the um, uh, the uh, the Habashis, the Eritrean, and they said they are not infected. And so the infection is basically uh, basically uh, centered on the Somalians, and so. It, they, they these parasites whatever they actually bring these parasites actually they are actually uh, basically uh feeding on the somalians only uh, that's what she said and so they they basically are some kind of a covenant some kind of a that they established with these parasites and they only feed on the somalians and once they actually bring them to the us yes they will not feed on the americans because the covenant is probably tied to the Somalians to feed on the Somalians. But may, make no mistake about it. These parasites do not actually have any kind of allegiance. They actually can jump on any kind of people actually uh, that is actually available. That any kind, it's like a, a wild animal. I kid you not. Some said that there's some kind of a parasitic uh, basically type of uh, mafia type of thing. And basically they actually, uh, whatever actually they can actually get food, they will actually lash on. To that actually uh, person 
and so they 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 will not stay on the Somalian zone. Once they actually have been actually once they open once they, once they open these portals and then these parasites come in because that's how they spread them, they will feed on any kind of actually human that is actually uh, nearby who's who's nearby. They will actually jump on the. They, they will jump on you and then they will feed on you. Many people reported that, you know, they, they can spread these parasites with a touch, what they call crudigious. They can, you know, spread them by just also being next to you. There's all kinds of means that they are spreading these parasites. And once these parasites basically sit on you and then feed on you, then they will also carry the programming of the Middle Eastern Muslim, actually, where they will tell you at some point if you actually want to uh, if you want to relieve, uh, if you want to get relief from this actually uh, feeling, you have to actually believe it. I kid you not. It's basically it's some kind of a, a basically it's it's a program to basically feeding that I don't know where it comes from, but that's how they feed. It's a crazy shit.